Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Young KD, back at it with a brand new video. And if you ain't know, your boy hit 1,000 subscribers. And I want to give a big shout out to y'all and say thank y'all for helping me reach 1,000, man. Without y'all, I definitely wouldn't have this. Y'all keep the channel going. Y'all keep it alive, man. And in today's video, I will be giving y'all a demonic voice preset, the deep voice, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people be wanting to know how, they, how do you make that sound, how do you sound like that. So, hey, I got y'all today, man. Let's go. My bad for the voice switch up, gang. My phone broke, so I had to take a different route, ha ha ha. But now let my show you what I have on the Demon Voice preset. I started this preset off with a DSer as always. Frequency at 8500 Hz. The DSer will help eliminate some of those harsh S sounds in your vocals. A DSer is essential for mixing vocals. It makes them sound a lot smoother. Okay, so after the DSer, we add a multi shifter. This is basically just an advanced pitch shifter. It can pitch shift your voice up or down. It uses multiple voices at once. You can get creative with this plugin though. But this is the setting I used to get the Demon Voice preset. Try it out and let me know what you think. Okay, so next up on this preset, we used a graphic EQ. This is to shape the focal up some, get rid of some muddy and harsh frequencies. You can change this up some if it doesn't sound perfect for you. This is just a starting point. It should sound pretty decent though. Next thing we have on this preset is another EQ, the EQ 3 meters here. I just took some of that 2500 Hz range out. That tends to be an annoying frequency. You can take less out or more out depending on how it sounds for you. But this is what I have for that. Next we have Exciter to get those crispy modern sounding vocals. You can tune this Exciter some if it sounds too crispy or not crispy enough. The Exciter just adds flavor that the regular EQ can't. Okay, so that's what I have for the Exciter. Next we added a compressor, the BL1176 compressor. Compression just makes the vocals more consistent and sound better overall. Here is what I have for the BL1176. As always, feel free to edit this if needed. Next we have another compressor, the Tech Lab BIA 2 a compressor. If your vocals sound too loud, just turn the gain down some. No worries. After both compressors are applied, the vocals can cut through the mix a lot better. And they sound more full and put together. Next, we did so Dottie Reverb to the mix. The Studio Reverb. Here are the settings I have. If it's too much reverb for you, turn it down some. If it's not enough, crank it up. Simple as that, guys. I love adding reverb. It really complements vocals really well. Also, it helps fit into the beat more naturally. So that's what I have for the reverb. Okay, so lastly we added the ping pong delay. It really makes the vocal sound more full. You can experiment with this effect if you want to. That pretty much wraps up the preset. If you want more content like this subscribe. New videos soon. Stay tuned guys. I'm out.